An island nine miles off the coast of Nagasaki was once one of the most densely populated places in the world. It's now abandoned, home to no one, and it is slowly crumbling into the sea. At the end of the 1800s, the Mitsubishi Corporation found an island that was sitting above an enormous coal deposit. Coal was the main source of fuel for Japan, so they immediately began to mine it. To support all of the miners, they had to build a city, and to protect them from the constant storms that ravaged it, they had to build an enormous seawall surrounding the entire thing. They were shaped a little bit like a ship, and it gave this island its nickname, Gunkinjima, or Battleship Island. By 1941, this tiny one kilometer slip of land was producing over 400,000 tons of coal a year. And thousands of miners had been brought there to mine deeper and deeper into this underground coal deposit. But the island has a dark history, which is that many of the miners were Chinese or Korean prisoners of war brought there during World War II, forced to mine under dangerous and desperate conditions. It's estimated that at the end of the war, 1,300 miners had lost their lives. They had either been killed in mining accidents, died of the illnesses that came along with the work, or some of them had just jumped over the edges of the seawalls trying to swim back to safety. Even after the war, Japan still needed coal to power its economy, and the Mitsubishi Corporation was more than happy to comply. The mine was dug even deeper, and buildings were put up to house all of the workers that the Mitsubishi Corporation brought in. By the 1950s, the entire island was a kind of company town, complete with pinball parks parlors, hairdressers, schools, bars, there was even a brothel. The island was so small that it was said you could walk from one side to the other in less time than it took to finish a cigarette. And the island was jam-packed with people. There were almost 1,400 people per square hectare, making it one of, if not the most populated place in human history. But by 1974, it was all over. The Mitsubishi Corporation had slowly been letting workers go, and in January of 1974, they held a closing Hashima ceremony, and the town has been entirely abandoned since then. This island has a lot of names. The forced laborers who worked there called it Jail Island or Hell Island. The mainlanders, because it's been abandoned for so long, refer to it as Ghost Island. But for me, the name that's most poetic is based on the fact that the island was so completely built up, so covered in concrete, that it was called Midori Nashi Shima, or the island without green. But after 40 years of abandonment, as these concrete apartment buildings have slowly started to collapse, the island without green is starting to have a few shoots peek through the concrete. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. So from 1974 to 2009, the island was totally off limits, but it's slowly been opening up. In 2013, Google sent a Street View team to Hashima Island, and so you can actually now go and walk around through the abandoned streets of the island. You can even look inside the buildings. In 2015, the island was officially accepted as a UNESCO World Heritage Site after Japan owned up to the dark history of forced labor.